ask and you shall receive. All right, guys, you have been asking for an HD review on the trucks I got yesterday, and I'm going to show you them right now. So let's start, and I have something very special at the end of this video to show you, so please enjoy the video. First of all, here we go, Zombie Hunter. Let's get that thing in HD. It's a nice, it's actually, in person, it's like a darker brown, but, uh, does look really nice the ram horn and I said it was kind of hard to see this uh, in the video I made yesterday and uh, obviously as you can tell I unboxed them all but there is the face of zombie hunter it looks awesome the nose and the little mouth of the ram I think zombie hunter came out great and yes there it, the window is fully covering the uh, top part up here now normally in the other trucks the uh, windows over here are cut off but it's a full plastic window up there. Looks awesome. And there's nothing on the back. And here is the top of Zombie Hunter. It's got these wheels. I've seen them before. I think they're Iron Man's wheels. So, yeah. But, yeah, that's Zombie Hunter. I love the truck. So, I don't know. Maybe in 2017 we'll get an updated version of it. So, next up, a truck that a lot of people have been dying to see. Check this out, Backdraft. This is probably the coolest one uh, that I got. Actually, no, that's a lie. I personally think uh, Soldier Fortune is, and we'll get to that in a second. Notice, red windows. And once again, it's covering the side as well. Interesting that they're doing this. Um, I don't know how good this is going to be. Oh, even better. It <laughs> just autofocus like that. Notice, Ty Cornelius. Some of you guys are uh, probably wondering, wait a minute, shouldn't it say Jeremy Slifko? Well, I found this out yesterday. Ty Cornelius actually drives for Paul Broad. And if you can remember, Paul Broad is the one who bought Lionel Eastler's Instigator, and he's the current driver of it. Well, Paul Broad bought Backdraft in 2014 and gave it to Ty Cornelius, who is the current driver of Backdraft. Also, Paul Broad also bought Eradicator from Andy Slifko last year, so... Unfortunately, the Slifkos no longer drive these trucks. But yeah, here it is on the back. Probably the awesomest part of this truck is the little... Oh, wow. Actually, thanks to my HD camera, I can read this. You guys probably can't really read it. But it says, God bless America up there in red, white, and blue. And then you got the World Trade Center. Like I said, this is a tribute to uh, the 9-11... Uh, things that uh, unfortunately happened and uh, you know we will never forget so I think that's very awesome that they did include this it's also on the 124 scale one as well and you can't really see it but uh, very very dull can you see two lights assembling the twin towers right there so that's that on the top the American flags of course this is like the ultimate American truck right here symbolizing, you know, those firefighters who gave it all for us. Um, the lights are awesome. The lights actually here. I'm actually going to pick up the camera and show you the lights up there. It's an awesome view of the lights. They look pretty realistic, and uh, I'm pretty happy about that. They did keep the 343 number. To be honest, I really don't know why, but uh, that's that. And here's the front. The front is amazing. Now, uh, personally, I already tried this. Uh, this could be a reason why it didn't come out for the Battle Slammers is because you can't really fit a Battle Slammer around that. The uh, top part right here is actually covering the part where you can sna uh, snap the top part of the Battle Slammer. So Battle Slammer doesn't really fit on Backdraft. But other than that, amazing truck. Love it. Mattel, you know, normally I wouldn't say this, but <laughs> Mattel, you're doing a great job this year. Uh, 2010 was the last time Hot Wheels Monster Jam was awesome. And then uh, they kind of went downhill from 2011 to 2015. And 2016 is rocking. Let's take a look at Titan. Look at this thing. And you can see Donald Epidenio's signature up there. Titan looks awesome. It is new tool. Like I said, the front is all black. There you go. There's a nice picture of it. Now, uh, it should have like a metallic silver gray uh, thing painted in here, but you know, I'm not gonna blame Mattel and once again the top part here is cut off So you can't put a battle slammer there uh, the hood. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful, isn't it? 
Yep, gray wheels. You know, the one truck that actually has somewhat chrome wheels, they give it gray and Hot Wheels Monster Jam. I'm not complaining. This truck is perfect. Look at it. <laughs> I love this thing. So there's Titan. Amazing truck. All right, so who else do we got? Here's one. This one's probably my second favorite that I got out of the five. Soldier Fortune. I'll get to that last. But um, here is Crustacean. Now, it is a new tool truck. It's not really that new of a tool, but uh, it is uh, pretty different. I'll show you in a second. This claw is uh, still bigger than this claw. You can read the... Uh, rubber band decals pretty clear and they're actually they got a mold on it I don't know if the camera will pick it up. It probably will because my HD camera is amazing But actually, you know, you can kind of see it there. It's actually molded into the truck and it's not painted on so uh, They could put the graphics on pretty good and it still says McClawkin seafood There you go. Oh my god stay in focus. There we go. So yeah blue crustacean there Back, pretty much the same on the top though monster lobster so what's different the shocks here um, yeah so it, they made the uh, truck realistic and they actually cut this part in and the plastic part is actually part of the chassis here the uh, roll cage as I like to call it but it's actually part of the roll cage and it connects up to here it's not part of the body it's part of the roll cage so the roll cage itself is completely new um here i'll show you the uh this one the uh one from last year see the uh the decals are just put onto this now see the shocks on the old one they're connected to the truck and uh the new one yeah it's connected to this part right here and i think that's awesome how it goes up here and yeah, that's that. The Blue Crest Station. Probably the coolest truck. The coolest Crest Station, at least. Now, uh, don't worry. The Red Crest Station should come out uh, later this year with this same tool. So, of course, I'm going to be uh, getting that. And finally, the one that everyone wants to see in HD, Soldier Fortune. Here we go. This thing is a uh, beaut. Look at it. Now, the graphics aren't the best. I mean, they are pretty blurry. I mean pretty sure a blind squirrel could uh, tell that the graphics aren't the best on this but hey you know the new tool the new tool of the truck looks awesome though the front of it there's that the window is awesome i love the window it's amazing so there's that uh over here same decals as the front on the back it says soldier fortune with some yellow lights that's up there and some people have been wondering what is that gun connected to well, here's the top real quick. It's got black paint here and the gun. Now, here we go. Let's see how good I can get this. So, what is the gun connected to? The gun is connected to that. Uh, I know this is not the best angle because it's all black and it kind of blends in. If I can get my camera to refocus. Uh, it did for a minute. Alright, I paused it and refocused. But as you can see, the gun snaps onto that little part. I'm not going to take it off. But, uh, yeah, if it ever comes off or if you find this truck with the gun snapped off in the package, don't worry. You can just snap it back on right here. Piece of cake. And, uh, yeah, those are the trucks. I personally think Soldier Fortune is probably the best one out of the five I got. Um, if I were to rank my favorites that I got, I'd go Soldier Fortune, Backdraft, Crustacean, Titan, Zombie Hunter. You don't count. But anyways, yeah, there's the HD review of those trucks, guys. Which one is your favorite out of the five that I got? Or, you know, what's your favorite in general? And now, on to something pretty special. I did my first ever trade. And what did I get? I told you guys yesterday, thank you, Mac Bulldog Mac, for Bob Robbins, our, my hometown truck, Aftershock. This is the 2016 Aftershock, and this is my first stunt ramp with that design. Thank you so much, uh, Riley. I have your card in here. I forgot where I put it. Oh, here it is. Here it is, man. Thank you so much for this. And uh, I know you're going to be making your video tomorrow, you told me. And uh, you guys can check out his channel. Go subscribe to him. And, uh, yeah, here's Aftershock. So happy I got this thing. It's my hometown truck. And, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, thank you, Mac Ball Dog Mac, for that. And thank you guys for watching. Here's Aftershock real quick. Might as well show it since uh, I got it. It's pretty nice. I love the gray look on it. Yeah, so that's it. Thank you guys for watching.